Hello. It is apple picking season and we are at the farmhouse. Hey Sam, how many apples have been picked by now? There seems to be some confusion. Tell us about it, Sam. Here are 18 boxes with 36 apples in each. To find the total number of apples, Sam multiplied 36 by 18. That is correct, Sam. According to Sam's calculation, the total number of apples is 324. But his father says it must be more. Let's see how you multiplied 26 and 18, Sam. Sam used box multiplication to find the product. That is the correct method. Sam first multiplied 36 by 8 and got 288 as the product. Next, Sam multiplied 36 by 1 at the tens place and got 36 as the product. Finally, Sam added the two products and got 324 as the answer. Now, Let's see where Sam went wrong in his multiplication. Here, Sam was multiplying a two-digit number by another two-digit number. Let's go through the steps of multiplication again. We always start multiplying the first number by the unit's digit of the second number. So, we first multiply 36 by 8. This gives 288 as the product. We write this first product as shown. Sam did this step correctly. Next, we have to multiply 36 by 1 at the tens place. This means we have to multiply 36 by 10 and not by 1. Multiplying 36 by 10, we get 360 as the second product. We write this product below the first product as shown. Finally, we add the two products to get the answer. Adding 288 and 360, we get 648 as the answer. This answer is different from what Sam got as the answer. Comparing the two solutions, we see where Sam went wrong. When multiplying by the digit at the tens place, Sam forgot to put a zero at the units place. Sam also has 25 boxes of pairs with 48 pairs in each box. He wants to find the total number of pairs using multiplication. Let's see whether he does that correctly. The total number of pairs is equal to 48 multiplied by 25. First, we multiply 48 by units digit of 25. Multiplying 48 by 5, we get 240 as the product. That is correct, Sam. Next, we multiply by the tens. Multiplying 48 by 20, we get 960 as the second product. That is right, Sam. Finally, we add the two products. Adding 240 to 960, we get 1200 as the answer. Has Sam done the multiplication correctly? Yes, this time Sam remembered to put a zero at the units place when he multiplied 48 by the tens digit of 25.
Sam made a silly mistake once, but he corrected it next time. It is not bad to make mistakes, but we should not repeat them. Hope you will remember not to make this mistake when you do multiplication sums.